Hey, Frontline fans, welcome back to Comic Frontline and fans. You're with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do, yes, that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, towards the end of the week here uh, for the comic book week, and I wanted to discuss Spider Man. 2099 issue number two now i've been preaching this book all week on my channel uh and on my countdown and i'm going to preach it here uh as well because this was my pick of the week and spider-man 2099 was a brilliant brilliantly written issue uh here we can see that the artwork on the cover very realistic looking you know if i guess if uh, Spidey 29 was real, I love the detail that they put into, you know, the bottom of the of the boots there, and the way the uh, the netting or the webbing looks on the back, and so I really like it. And uh, Peter David is the one who actually uh, writes this book and created the character, and Will Sleeney is the is the artist in the series, and um, I think the artwork is, is done quite well uh, in the issue. Uh, so if you guys are worried about artwork, I don't think there's any problems here. I think it's it will fit a lot of people's needs when they're looking at a comic book. Uh, so yeah, and I'll give you probably another page here because there's not a lot of action here. So here's a page of Miguel O'Hara here. So the artwork is really done. So obviously I already said it was a really good book and I've been pressing it to a lot of people this week. But I wanted to let you guys know and tell you a little bit what happens in this in this story. Um, and it all starts out from the beginning. There's not a lot of action in this issue, uh, which if you want to find a draw, you know, downside to something, this could be it. But this issue doesn't focus on action. It just does a little introductory of 2099. He's just doing his thing out in the streets in the year 2014, stopping the bad guys, stopping the bank robbers. And right away, there's there's humor where needed. It's not forced or anything like that. Uh, you, get, you get to see this bank robber who's pleading his case to Spidey 2099. He keeps rambling on, rambling on, rambling on, and Spidey just like punches him in the face. So there's some funny elements there between every single character in this issue of what makes it so good. Um, in the first issue, you get to meet the, uh, the the supervisor of the building, and, and her name is Tempest. And she cleaned up blood that was in the middle of this in this uh, apartment building uh, for him. And she, you know, Miguel O'Hara decided to give her flowers. And you get to see great character moments there uh, on how he just doesn't do too well with the ladies in this in this particular issue. And uh, he tries to dig into her personal life. And, um, you know, certain things she takes heartedly because uh, it's private matter. And, uh, you know, so he gets kicked out there. And I just love the character interactions in this book. Then he goes back to his apartment and he comes face to face with Liz Allen in here as well. Uh, and I thought Liz Allen is just like, has Miguel O'Hara figured out. She finds out who he is, finds out that he's Spider-Man, and he doesn't know what to do about the whole situation here. And there's some great humor in this issue between Liz Allen and Miguel O'Hara. He actually thinks about throwing her out the window, but as a reader in this issue, you think he literally does that on purpose at first. And I thought that was awesome. I thought that was so funny. So there's great humor here, a little bit of chemistry that happens with uh, Liz Allen and Miguel O'Hara, he tells her the truth, but not the whole truth in the issue. And he find, you know, tells her where she, where he came from, what year he was from, but never actually admits that he is Spidey 2099. So this issue hit it on all emotions here, had great character interaction. Uh, and I love that about this book so far, only two issues in. Um, whereas Amazing Spider-Man, it always focuses on a lot of action and they, they try to keep pushing heavy storylines. But every once in a while, I like when a comic slows down and tells a really good story and gets you to connect with its characters. And being that Spidey 2099 is probably, you know, this character being introduced to a lot of new readers out there, I think you need that time 
to get to know Miguel O'Hara and Liz Allen and Tempest. So you have a feel for them. And sometimes comics introduce a series and they never really do that. But when a comic does it like this one does, I think people are going to fall in love with Miguel O'Hara or Liz Allen or Tempest. So after reading this book, it was my pick of the week and I gave this a 5 out of 5 and definitely a recommendation if you fans were turned off by Stan Slott reintroduction to the character in the Amazing Spider-Man series. Don't get turned off. You can probably still get issue 1, pick up issue 2. I have a feeling that you won't be disappointed after you read this. So again, guys, my recommend recommendation to you this week from Mike Spider Slayer. So guys, as always, leave the comments below. And uh, until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And I'll see you guys in the next comic book review. Thanks for watching, fans. Take care.